Hello geeks, welcome back! Sometimes, while customizing, we're gonna use different doll parts. Usually, body swapping is the most used technique to get the doll the way we want. But every time we do it, there's always remaining bodies we won't use anymore. Usually stiff bodies with no articulation and sometimes we even get remaining heads. Usually, these doll leftovers end in the garbage, but it really doesn't have to be that way. So, you're gonna learn today how you can make something really amazing with these basic bodies. So, I'm gonna teach you how to transform this into this. Yes, we're going to make a beautiful doll figurine. And this might look a little bit extreme, but there is no other way to do it. I'm separating from the doll every part I want to bend into a permanent pose later. For this, I will use my rotary tool just to make my life easier, but you can do it using a hog saw as well. I'm just gonna mark which leg is the right one and which is the left one, so I will mess this up later. And we keep dismembering this doll and oh my gosh guys, this feel and sound so weird. I hope no one will see this mess here in my room until I put all these limbs back together again. I highly recommend to sketch or research for pictures to get an idea which pose you want for your figurine. So, you only cut the limbs that need to be bended for that pose. That way you won't be making unnecessary cuts and that will save you some work and of course, some time. So, I sanded the edges and I'm going to use wire and silicon glue to reassemble all these limbs. I'm gonna fill with glue the holes inside each limb since these are hard plastic and they are hollow. Once the glue is hard, I'm gonna take a wire and I'm gonna heat it up using a lighter. And then we stick it inside the glue. And we repeat the process on the other leg. Once happy with the bows, you can hold them using more glue. For the arms, since they are made of solid rubber, I don't need the wire. I'm just gonna cut them until I get the shape I need for the pose I want.
Once happy with it, I'm just gonna glue them together. And once again, we will repeat the same on the other arm. And now it's time for epoxy sculpt! Guys, I truly think the dog customizers community should get together someday and make a monument to the creator of this product because we could never thank them enough for all the crazy things we make with it and that otherwise would be impossible to make with other type of clays. It's really important to keep your fingers wet and the epoxy as well. We need to press it against the plastic edges and make those areas as seamless as possible. We need them absolutely flawless. If we make this step right and the transitions from epoxy to plastic are seamless, our sanding job is going to be so much easier later. Finally, we secure the hip joints with super glue and then we cover those joints with epoxy. And now we're ready to sand the hell out of these joints. This will be the final step on the joints before painting. So, please take your time and make those transitions unnoticeable and flawless. For the base, I'm just gonna use a regular wood base and a nail. I'm gonna heat the nail so it can pierce the hard plastic and I'm gonna quickly insert it inside the leg. I have to make this really fast since it gets cold really quick and I literally have only a few seconds to place her on the base. I will also use super glue to make sure it's completely fixed to the base and it won't move anywhere. Once dry, it's time for the paint. Just start applying thin coats of acrylic to cover the epoxy gray areas. The color won't be solid at first, but it will be if you keep applying thin coats and in the end it will look totally airbrushed. Just remember. If you get impatient and apply a really thick acrylic coat at first, you'll only get a tacky paint job, full of brush strokes everywhere, so keep in mind, patience is always the key. You can also paint the whole figure in the color you want 
according to the character you designed. Truly, the possibilities are endless. And here it is guys, it looks so good from all the angles, this pose is so feminine, so ethereal, I decided to keep the shoulder joints so even if it is a figurine I can still play with arms in different positions to get really beautiful poses. You can use any spare head you have over there, from some body swap or some fail repaint, or even better, you can make your own head using air dry clay and completely transform her into the character you want. I still have no idea who she's gonna be, maybe you can help me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do, so you don't miss all the fun we always have there. If you're new here and you like my videos, please subscribe, it would be awesome. If you're already a friend, stay tuned because lots of amazing collabs are coming up. See you soon and until the next time.